आईआईटी कर लिया तो लाइफ सेट है आईआईटी का है तभी इतना एरोगेंट है दीज आर जस्ट सम ऑफ द थिंग्स दैट यू माइट हैव हर्ड अबाउट आई एंड आई बट हाउ मच ट्रूथ इज रियली देर टू दीज स्टेटमेंट लेट्स फाइंड आउट इन टूडेज वीडियो Hi everyone. Welcome to the channel. My name is Somi. I'm an IIT Delhi and an ISP Hyderabad grad. I have worked in banking and management consulting for over 8 years now. And through my experience as well as my network, I try to bring you some insider knowledge related to college decisions and corporate career. So if that is something that you are looking for, please subscribe to this channel in today's video i am going to be busting five top myths that i have heard and you usually probably hear about iits and iits number 1 iit kar liya to life set hai kafi bada myth the truth is your life is only beginning when you enter the iits it is very common for people to feel totally lost once they get in something that is called imposter syndrome because when you see too much competition and too many smart people around you you start doubting your own abilities and you feel like you're not in the right place a lot of students also take this myth seriously and stop working on their self development stop studying as you can imagine these people don't really end up being where they had dreamt to be secondly iit has a perception of being a bunch of overachievers which means the pressure on you to perform is also very very high you end up having really high expectations from you and more often than not you end up leading a not so happy life thirdly iits are never the end game for a lot of people a majority of people end up doing their mba or some kind of other further studies a lot of people also prepare for civil services examinations and a huge bunch of people these days are also following really unconventional careers like becoming a youtuber or becoming an actor or an author so you can imagine iit kar liya to life far from set hai Second big myth ITians are geeks and they only study. I can tell you from my experience that there is very less truth to that statement. I have had a lot of night outs at IIT and most of them have been about either preparing for an upcoming music competition or just chilling with friends. Ha kabhi kabhi padhai ke liye bhi night out marna padta tha but mostly just before the exams. ITians are equally involved in extracurricular activities like cultural activities or sports in fact IIT cultural fests like rendezvous in IIT Delhi or Muda in IIT Bombay are really popular ones which draw a lot of footfall and the IIT students are not only involved in arranging those large scale events but also in participating with equal rigor as some of the other uh, colleges who you know focus on a specific set of performing art the inter iit sports festival is another really sought after event that a lot of students look forward to attending secondly iit ka election season the elections here are not as hyped up as say jnu but all the student bodies are democratically elected and the elections are very severely fought there's a lot of preparations for election campaigns groupism politics backstabbing during that season thirdly a lot of people also drastically change their field from say career or research to something else for example chetan bhagat is a best selling author arvind kejriwal is the chief minister of delhi jitu jitendra kumar is a household name today and a very popular actor gaurav taneja is a such a big youtuber so basically itians are not just good at studies but at a lot of other things too The third myth is that IITians are rich and they earn a lot of money. Now, I have a full video dedicated to this. I'm going to link it up here. Go and watch it. Whatever you hear in the news that IITians earn 1 crore packages right after IITs, that happens to very few students, less than 1% of the students. And if you end up having a below average placement because of your grades or whatever reason then your package can go as low as 3 to 4 lakhs as well also average package varies from iit to iit the og iits like delhi mumbai kharagpur kanpur they have slightly higher average packages than the other iits that have come up but basically placements are really competitive and it sort of segregates different students into different tiers 
good placements, average placements, and bad placements. The fourth myth is about IT and IT girls. I feel like there are so many myths on this topic. Things like IT girls are not beautiful, that lab assistants and professors are partial towards girls, that girls get easily placed because companies have to, you know, fill their diversity quota, so on and so forth. Now, this topic is very close to my heart and I'm definitely planning to do a full video on this. But right now, I only want to say that IT girls are just like any other engineering college girls but yes they are a rare breed and they do get some benefits based on that but please note that we don't have it easy either we have to push our way forward in this male dominated corporate world just like all the other ambitious girls out there fifth and the last myth ITNs are arrogant. Now, what do I say about this? I mean, bad breed is available everywhere. Some might be thinking that they are superior than others because they have cleared one of the toughest entrance examinations in India. But most of the ITNs that I have met are very humble and down to earth. In fact, a lot of ITNs come from small cities, from really humble backgrounds, which means that they have reached where they have purely based on their hard work. So they tend to carry that humility throughout their career and it is also the down-to-earth humble people who really reach heights in their career as well. The truth of today's corporate world is that IQ can only get you so far. You definitely need a very strong EQ or emotional quotient to go with your IQ to be able to reach heights in your corporate career. Those are just some of the things that I wanted to talk about in today's video. If you have heard of any other myth let me know in the comment section. Also, if you have any video ideas which you want me to create, please let me know in the comments as well. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit the like button. And for more such kind of videos, please don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.